Hello friends, in today's operating system class we will see the critical section problem and this is one of the important concept in inter-process communication in second unit. Okay, in this today's class we will see what is critical section problem and what are the solutions to the critical section problem. First let us see what is critical section problem. Okay, consider n processes are there that is P0 to Pn-1. So, totally n processes are there and each process are having a common set of code which is called as critical section. Okay, that is this critical section means this common set of code will be common for all the processes and this may be a common variables, updating a table, writing a file and so on. Okay, so, we have to identify which is the common code for all the processes. See, that is called as critical section. Okay, here, when one process is executing in its critical section, see one process will come into the critical section and exiting this, executing this critical section, then no other process is allowed to execute its critical section because the critical section is common for all the processes. Suppose if any one of the process is executing the critical section, then the other process should wait until the first one should complete its execution. Okay? Otherwise, no two process are executing the critical section at the same time. Otherwise, the problem may occur, isn't it? Data inconsistency problem will occur. The critical section problem which is used to design a protocol. So, here we are going to design a protocol so that the process can use to synchronize their activities, to synchronize their activities for what purpose? Cooperatively access the shared data, okay. So, we have to identify the shared data for all the processes and allow the processes in a synchronized way to access the shared data. Okay, otherwise data inconsistency problem occurs. So, for this uh, four points are important. First one is each process must request permission to enter the critical section. Okay, first uh, the process should request permission to enter the critical section and the code implementation this request is called as entry section. Okay, so here this is called as entry section. So, any process wanted to execute the critical section must satisfy this entry section then only that will be allowed to execute or enter the critical section okay and the third one is the critical section may be followed by an exist section that means after completing this critical section the process should go to this exist section okay and the remaining section is also there that is the remaining code is called as remaining section that is the code which is not in this entry section and exit section critical section are called as remainder section this is other code if the process execute this code and the other process will not be affected okay so this is called as remainder code so how many sections are there first one is entry section and second one is critical section and third one is entry section and the code which is not in this three is called as remainder section and next let us see the solution to this critical section problem see to uh, get the solution there are three requirements first one is the mutual exclusion progress and bounded weighting so these three are very important requirements to give the solution to that critical section problem let us see all these things one by one and the first one is mutual exclusion what is mutual exclusion? For example, there are n number of processes, totally n number of processes are there and if process PI is executing the critical section, then no other process can be executing the critical sections. That is, for example, this is the critical section and P0, P1, P2 and P3 all these processes are wanted to enter the critical section okay and only one process can be allowed inside the critical section at a time that is initially p0 only allowed to enter the critical section right 
and if any other process required the critical section they must wait until it is free that is if p1 p2 p3 wanted to execute then these three process should wait until the p0 should complete its execution okay so only one process is allowed to enter in the critical section the second important requirement is progress the progress is if no process is executing its critical section and there exists some process wish to enter their critical section okay that is currently the critical section is empty means no process is executing this critical section and some process wish to enter their critical section some process will come here p0 p1 p2 so some process wanted to enter into the critical section then the selection of process isn't it which process is going to select for executing its critical section isn't it that cannot be postponed indefinitely that cannot be postponed that is immediately we have to select any of the process for executing its critical section so this is called as progress right that means if process is not using its critical section then it should not be stopped any other process from accessing it right p should, p not that is here p not should not be stopped to execute its critical section because the critical section is currently free isn't it so this is called as progress the third requirement is bounded waiting bounded waiting means a bound must exist on number of times that other processes are allowed to enter their critical section after a process has made a request to enter its critical section and before that request is granted see no one can confuse more than this isn't it let us try to understand this concept a bound must exist on number of times that other processes are allowed to enter the critical section that is a set of processes are there that will execute continuously this critical section this is critical section okay so some process will continuously executing this critical section after a process has made request to enter its critical section now a new process is coming and give request to enter this critical section then the request should be granted so without waiting a more the this particular process should be allowed to enter its critical section this is what the concept of bounded waiting okay so bounded waiting means each process must have limited waiting time okay suppose we are having four four processor means everyone should have a limited waiting time that should not wait and endlessly to enter to its critical section that is it should not wait endlessly to access the critical section every process should be allowed to enter into the critical section and waiting time should be limited so this is what bounded waiting up to this we have seen the critical section problem under this we have seen what is critical section problem and the three solutions to this critical section problem that will come under inter process communication okay and this is the question time students please write the answer for what is bounded waiting you can write the answer in the comment box in the next class we will see the another software solution for this critical section problem thank you